Let's begin. Let's begin. Hi, folks. My name is Isaac Mundy, and I'm going to be talking to you a little bit today about what we're going to be looking at in our Sunday school at Siloam and a little bit with our youth group for this coming Sunday. Over the next few weeks, we're going to be focusing on a story about a guy named Elijah from the Old Testament in the Bible. And we're going to look a little bit, too, at the stories of his follower, whose name was Elisha. It's really confusing, but at this point, don't worry. We're just going to be looking at Elijah this week. So, the story of Elijah takes place in a time in Israel when things are not going so well. The rulers of Israel have kind of given up on being in a relationship with God. They figure, you know what, I can make uh, gods and out of statues and stuff just as well, and I can worship them, and probably things will go even better, because those statues will look even cooler than what we've been doing before. Uh, the problem is, though, is that well, Elijah still believes that the God of Israel has a plan for Israel and still wants to be in a relationship of compassion with those people. But because things have kind of been left on the back burner by those who are in power in Israel with God, Elijah has to head out from the main places of power and he goes in search of God in other places. This week, he meets up with the miraculous love of God in a situation just outside of a small town, away from those places of power. He meets up with a woman whose, uh, whose husband has died, and she has a little son she's trying to look after, but it's gotten to the point where she thinks that probably soon they are going to die. But when Elijah meets up with her, he says, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. And he says, listen, if you can help me out a little bit, even with the little food that you have, I know that God is going to be able to look after us. And so she does do that. She miraculously has faith in what this random guy is saying to her that she's met up with outside of this small town. And miraculously, God does provide both for Elijah and for this woman who is a widow and for her son. There's a bit more to the story later on, but I'll just put the link online for you folks later so you can have a look at that. We're not focusing as much on that in our Sunday school this week. I think the really important thing is, though, that as we're moving through this story that we can convey to our young people that sometimes the world can seem like it's getting completely turned upside down. Sometimes it can seem as though we're very far away from the presence of God and yet God does keep on looking after us. And in fact, when the worlds of power don't seem to be that interested in that kind of a relationship, well, we can still find that love of God on the edge of our society, in the places where people are vulnerable, where people are in need, because that's where God wants to reach out to people, is to those people who are most deeply in need. And that's how God expresses God's love in a way that reawakens us to that presence that we have been near to since the moment of our creation and who continues to love us even in times when we've turned away. I think that we want to encourage our young people to be able to be a part of that compassion, a part of that love, and a part of that reaching out to the places of vulnerability and even finding those own places where sometimes we're a little bit vulnerable or scared because God's message to us through Elijah or just through what we're doing in our Sunday school and youth group is be not afraid. Don't be afraid because God is with us. Well, I hope that's helpful for you folks. We'll be looking forward to seeing you on Sunday, and God bless. Listen, listen carefully.